Hello friends, both old and new. I am John St. Baptiste, and this is Music Makes the People Come Together. The purpose of this channel is to share amazing and eclectic music with amazing and eclectic people, which I'm sure all of you are. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you know that on Wednesday night I uploaded a midweek message talking about the two shows that I went to this week. I was Dead and & Company and Slayer with Anthrax, Behemoth, Testament, and Lame of God. Uh, both were unbelievably phenomenal shows. I got live footage from both of them. I got one track from Dead & Company. I got one full track from Anthrax. I got 16 minutes straight of Slayer along with another track by Slayer. I'm going to let you all find out what those were because they're a really fun surprise. They've all been uploaded to the page. Please check them out. I told you that night that I was making what I guess are called vlogs, uh, different bits of clips of just interviewing people, talking to people, showing you what's going on at a show. I successfully did the show with the Dead & Company show. Unfortunately, the Slayer concert, I was not able to do so. Um, something happened when I tried to upload the video and all of my stuff was erased, which I'm pretty bummed about, but life goes on. So, um, new info about the channel. I add things to my playlists every week, but what I'm going to start doing, starting with this week and retroactively, back to the first week, is uploading a playlist of just the music from that week. So if you just want to check that out, you can. Um, I still do advise the playlists are put together conglomeratively for a reason, so they're worth checking out. Um, but if you've just got a certain amount of time or you just want to check out, oh, hey, boom, 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 point topics, please do so as well. Just share the music. And don't let me just share it with you. Please share it back at me. And please share it with each other. That's what this is all about. So, uh, moving right along, the theme track for this week, which I uploaded at 9 this morning. By the way, I... If anybody is a little more tech savvy than me, if you can please hit me up in the comments section. I would really like to be able to put those playlists or a link to them or a link to a certain track or anything like that directly in my comments section. I see other YouTubers do this all the time. I do not know how to do this. Uh, I'm working from a... Uh, tablet so I might not be able to I might have to have a computer because I looked up a how-to and he was on a computer so I'm not sure if I have to do that if anyone knows how to do this from a tablet oh my gosh you'll be my new best friend so that being said the theme of this week the theme track was from my boys right up interstate 71 in Akron Ohio three hours away from me and that is Devo Doing Time Out for Fun. Last week's track list was pretty bleak. Kind of a downer, which is good stuff. There's a lot of good, bleak music. I like a lot of good, bleak music, but sometimes you just need to have nice, happy fun. So the theme for this week is please take time out for fun, and we're going to have fun music. That being said, that was a great track. I love it. It Devo did so much to influence electronic music. And a lot of people don't realize that. And I met them once, and you would think they're rather odd. They're some of the most normal people I've ever met. Like, the no normal. Yeah, I, I... That was more weird to me than if they had just been a bunch of misanthropes who smelled like cheese um anyway so moving on the tracks for this week on the better to be happy compilation this week's track is actually new happy hardcore it's not 20 years old 
Don't get me wrong, I love that, it's quite obvious, but this week's track is relatively new, it's just a few years old, it's by S3RL, and it's called Pika Girl. This is a fun track, it's just really fun, um, I can see how some people might find it kind of creepery, but... Just listen to it. Have fun with it. Uh, I don't think it was intended that way. I don't think of it that way. I just think it's a really fun track. And it, you know, it shows you that, that music is always evolving. Even different genres of music are always evolving, which I think is a great thing. You know, we can't stagnate things. Uh, sometimes things go great. Sometimes things go poorly. That's why uh, Frank Zappa has five unlistenable tunes for every five awesome tunes it it but i'm glad people are experimenting with different types of music and different genres more on that later uh the second track for this week from the fracking opera mix and yes you'll notice i changed the order i do this in but from the fracking opera list it is mary england by edward german uh, the libretto is by Basil Hood. What's really cool for those of you who are a little wary about opera is that this is in English, and it's only a two-act opera, so it's a minute and 40 seconds, or an hour and 40 minutes long. Um, this is an opera that was perennially done for a long time and kind of fell out of the picture. But it's always been a popular opera, from what I understand, um, in the UK for different celebratory purposes. And it's always been a big opera to be done by amateur companies. So I found a version that was done by an amateur company. So please forgive the sound quality. It's not the best. Certainly not the worst. But it's fun and it's funny. It's funny. Comedic opera is supposed to be funny. Um, there's a certain scene in Don Giovanni that I have seen nine times now, and every time that scene comes out, I laugh my scrawny white ass off. Okay, next, uh, on the full mix. Okay, so, so much fun. Oh my gosh, what we have right here is the original boy band. Does anybody who know who the original boy band was? Well, if you're my age, you do. And they were called the Jackson 5. This is a recording of the Jackson 5 live full set 1972 in Paris, France. Right at the height of their career. It's great fun. It, it, it It's just, it's awesome. How can you listen to the Jackson 5 and not be in a good mood? By the way, if this is bad work week, please put this playlist on because it's going to put you in a good mood. And that's the entire point because take time out for fun. Finally, the cover that kicks ass for this week's is another band from Ohio. Nine Shrines, who I was just recently introduced to, a metal band from here in Ohio where I live, does a cover of Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. This is sweet. A lot of people don't like Garth Brooks. A lot of people don't like country. Give it a shot, man. It That's the entire point of doing a cover is to make it a little different, to make it a little special. Also, I do like Garth Brooks. I'm a big fan. The man puts on these Bruce Springsteen-esque three-hour shows. Shit, he played here in Cincinnati, and he sold out like three nights in a row and scheduled two more shows just to make sure everybody who wanted to come to the show was able to go to the show. Whether you like his music or not, I think that is so cool. I think that is so spot on, service to the fans, which is what you should do if you're a professional artist. So, uh, that going on, uh, the new list, because there's going to be a whole brand spanking new playlist is going to be posted Thursday. It's a completely new playlist. It's going to be up every week. It is something that is very close to my heart. 
If you're familiar with me and my musical history, I'm sure you can probably kind of guess what this might be. We'll see. Uh, throw out your guesses in the comment section. Please, speak in the comment section. If you have music to share, share it. If you have, say, a great cover that you think I should check out, share it. If you have great happy hardcore, a great opera, a great full album, share it, share it, share it. Please share it so I can share it with everybody else. I really want to hear all your music. Um, I'd still be married if I liked one-way affairs, you know? So please, share back with me. I didn't mean that unkindly. I meant that to hopefully kind of be funny because I thought it was kind of funny joke, but it might not have been. I either tell them well or I tell them not so well. But anyway, that's going to be up Thursday. Uh, the teaser will be up. Like I said, if anybody is a little more tech savvy than me and can tell me how to do that, I would like to put a video up right before my teaser every week and link into that. The new full playlist is going to be up next Sunday. I have not even remotely started thinking about what the theme is going to be, but it's going to be some very cool stuff that I want to share with you. Um, speaking of sharing... This is the only social media that I really have time for. I have a whole lot going on. Just doing this takes me hours of research every week because I really want to share everything with all of you properly. Also, I have a full-time job. You know, I have other things I do in my life. So if you're on the other forms of social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and you like my content, please share it with other people. Um, I, I would love to get more followers. Speaking of which, got to throw out that uh, love every week for Kyle from Azora Hype and Robert from Indeed Geek who have done so much to bring more viewers to my page. Uh, everybody who comes here, please check it out. I hope you like it. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I'd like to thank you if you're not a subscriber and you just check this out. I'd really like to thank you if you're not a subscriber, you check this out and you decide to subscribe. If so, hit the bell uh, because the bell is the magic YouTube thing that makes you actually get notifications about content. Also, share, you know, all of that. Like, share, subscribe. Um, so, uh, trivia for this week. By the way, Mandolin523 got trivia both last week and midweek. Impressive young lady. So last week's trivia was the band Veruca Salt. Where does their name come from? And it is from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It was the terribly unpleasant young lady who uh, if you haven't read it or watched it, I'll let you see what happens. I think it's funny. And the midweek trivia, why is this channel called Music Big The People Come Together? The reason is, it is a line from the track music, which is the self-titled track from the album music by Madonna. It came out in 2000. Music makes people come together again. If you've never heard it, and please tell me what rock you've been living under, because sometimes I would like to hide there. Check it out. It's a great track. It's fun. There's there are some really sweet remixes out there, too. Uh, definitely worth checking out. So this week's trivia. Uh, the full playlists edition was a complete set by the Jackson 5. Five members. Actually, technically seven, but we're going to talk about five. So the five original members of the Jackson 5, whoever can give me... The names of three of them. Whoever's the first person who can do that gets the smooch for the week, which I would love to give you. All right, I'm going to be heading off here once again. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed yourself, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, and be excellent to one another, and party on.